What is up YouTube, Cheeks right here, and sorry I've been active so lately, but I'm going to show you my new jailbreak setup that I have on my iPhone 7 Plus bringing the iOS uh, 10 jailbreak, so let's just start with the video. So starting off with my lock screen, I do have this new tweak, it's not yet on Cydia, but you can add it with a repository, it will be up in your screens and in the below description as well. So it's called Priority Hub 2, so what this does, it will actually uh, make your lock screen more cleaner when you get uh, notifications so I got a message from myself saying hey so it can just organize it by icon so let's say we got a snapchat it will organize it in a snapchat icon you put it in private mode so private mode what it does just will just hide notification until you click on the icon so it's on Hubble Priority Hub it has a few settings that you can actually enable and disable and as you can see right now this is a new UI for the iPhone it's technically um, it's called redstone and what it does it actually mimics the Windows 10 mobile for uh, Windows phone so you get this whole new UI which I've been using like for a day already and it's very stable and it feels way more snappier than iOS you're still running iOS we have this new UI on your phone that makes it windows like so you can actually customize it to your liking as you can see i have all, almost all my favorite apps right here I have snapchat messages spotify and if you want to add more apps all you have to do is just slide to the left and you'll get this app drawer right here it's all and it's all organized by uh, alphabetical order so if you go like this let's go up um let's add this app right here all you want to do is just uh, hold it pin to start and you get this icon right here and you just hold it one more time you want to make it bigger smaller so as you can see it's just big some apps will have like this like spotify look right here so it says spotify it's like in big text um some act some tiles will actually have like uh live indicators that will show you like the weather and all that showing notifications you got like uh twitter so yeah it's a awesome um ui that you can get for your iphone so if you want to remove one of the tiles just click on right there and you should be good to go and so i'll help with redstone you do need a repository will be open screens down below the description so once you have the repository you search of redstone um preview and you should get it and you should get this awesome ui which i think is a little bit better than ios but I still miss iOS at the same time. All right, so going to the next part of the new setup that I, I do have running this Redstone UI for Windows um, is this new player called Classic Player. So what it does just gives you like if you had an iPod on your device. So you, if you remember the old iPod Classics, iPod Nanos, I used to be in love with those. But once like the iPod Touch came out and that new iPhone, well, they take and replace those, and they are already discontinued. And they're pretty expensive. You go look them up on, on eBay. So you get the same UI as an actual iPod, which brings so much nostalgia back to me. So you have settings and all these other stuff. You can change these with different colors. So you have dark mode, or we have this uh, the classic white mode. You have sound effects. So if I do take off the vibe, the vibrate, I see you got the sound effects. So let's go to music. Let's click here and click there, choose a song. So as you can see, it's a working player. We can pause and play music, and it's all music that's inside of your music application. So this tank, this tank can replace your music, your stock music application, if you want to have back that nostalgia in your life. And our next week, we'll upgrade our device to iOS 11 standard. So I don't know, I don't know if you've seen the iOS 11 Control Center, but it looks just like this. So you can get the iOS 11 Control Center on iOS 10 and still be jailbroken. So you do need a kind of repository for both the classic player and uh, the module CC. So module CC is technically the tweak that I'm running for to get this iOS 11 look onto my control center. So almost every tweak that I show you for the setup will be under that repository. So as you can see, if I hold this, we can move this around, uh, put it right there if I wanted to, but I like it right there. So everything works, so we can play music, we can lower the volume up and rise the volume if you want. As you can see, we can do all that, just like iOS 11. But the only thing is, 
you can't add more toggles to it. So in the future, the developer did told me that you had more toggles to this tweak right here. But right now he's working on the bugs and all the kinks on this tweak. So if you mind, if you don't mind that many bugs, which is not really buggy in my opinion, but if you don't mind bugs, you should totally get this. Make your device even more newer, make it feel fresh. So all the help of modern CC and that's it for this video guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe more to videos coming your way. Chase and see you in the next one. Peace.